already out there in, in all the feed. Every time you post this in your comments, so I do want to address it. The triplets, like people do want to know, like you know, they look like you. Um, you know, every time you post this, take care of your kids. I know you see it because we see it. Really, it really, it be just be on on like platforms like y'all's and shit because. Yeah, I'll be picking it up, but like I said, them babies, bro, that shit precious, so I don't even, people can't even say they be seeing me speak on it. I used to say little shit, but that's a situation, that's real life, and that needs to be taken care of, so, you know. Most deaf, I hey, respect it, hey, I respect it. Hey. So, so you and uh, Queen Key, what's your relationship like? We don't have one. I ain't personally seen her, I talked to her in like three years then. So, that's what I'm saying, like, people gonna have their narrative from the internet and they don't know, so. Cause I'm saying them babies, bro, that shit gonna be taken care of off the internet and the right way. And that's just what it's gonna be. I don't be speaking on them. I ain't gonna speak on them. I don't disrespect them. I don't disrespect her. I don't say nothing. You know, that's the real life shit. Like, so I'm, I, I, that shit gonna get handled accordingly how it's supposed to. And shit, I, I leave it off the net. So. Yeah. And you think she, she could have handled it, uh, you know, a little bit better. I don't know nothing about that lady. I don't care about that lady. I don't care what she's doing. Everybody see what she's doing. And, you know, I only got to speak on it. I only want to speak on it. Okay. I don't know her. Yeah, too. It ain't no bottom to it. It ain't no case for me. None of that weird shit. Like, this is me and my whole children. Period. And it's like, it ain't no weird shit in weird life. It ain't no this and weird life, period. It ain't no just goofy shit in real life. So right. it's like, that's just what it is. So anybody that's just weird as hell and fighting demons and shit, they just not around my baby, period. Like, it ain't no bottom to get to. Like, I don't know what story has been told or been sold, but you feel me, this is my real life. Like, Sorry, shit. And I don't know what the fuck niggas talking about, but I don't want no goofy around me anyway, so I don't give a f what niggas talking about. Literally. It's like, what the fuck, all right, why would I even want a goofy around me? So. That's tough for so. It ain't really all that tough to me. I mean, I don't really know, like. I've been thinking about the. I be thinking about the kids, you know what I'm saying? And I think about my kids all day. And with that being said, it's not tough. Cause with that being said, I protect my children. Why the f would I want to goofy around my kids? I don't give a f who it is. And fuck them kids, on be It's on be Fuck them triplets, on be That bitch started that rumor cause I ain't want her. I ain't want her with them kids. She running around to me talking about this gay shit. Bitch, fuck you, be a single parent. I don't give a fuck if I, if I am or ain't the dead, bitch. Hey. If it was his family back, what was my response? I just can't do it again. <laughs> no. After you do me wrong my pregnancy, I just don't, I don't really see you. Bitch. No. I met my baby daddy. He was a model for my clothing line. When I did my first drop, would you want to be with your baby daddy and be a family? No. Baby, we don't, I don't take this lady. Is it, are you trying to say, because you got a, a baby in <laughs> I'm confused. What does that mean? Yo, yo, yo. What's up, people? We is back. Another day on Keep It G News. And they always talking about 600 Breezy, y'all. Now, for people that don't know, 600 Breezy is out uh, Chicago, out the 600 Mob, 600 Buka, Rondo Number 9, C Day. I think they all part of the same crew. Tay 600. You understand what I'm saying? But. 600 Breeze is a drill rapper, but in the last couple years, his name hasn't really been relevant for music. It's been all nonsense. I think he just came home not too long ago, but more recently, his name been slandered across the internet because 600 Breezy is allegedly 
not claiming his kids, y'all. Now y'all know on Keep It G News, we ain't standing for that. I think black men who ain't taking care of their kids need to be exposed. I think they need to be shunned. Straight up and down. And I ain't even really with all the excuses. But in this video, like when I was putting it together, that was ready to be my angle on it. That's the angle I was ready to take on it. But as I was looking at all the videos and putting it together, I changed. <laughs> you understand? My mind frame on the situation is totally different. So it turned into me where he get on 600 Breezy all by himself. So I think we just need to throw everybody in the pot, yo, because this is a bigger problem in our community. And it's not just pertaining to 600 Breezy and his whole situation. We have a problem in our community where you know somebody may be suitable or not suitable to be a parent. And just because of looks, financial status, or whatever the case may be, they still fall victim to it. These two people, man and woman, that still get together and have a child, and then they bring a child into this world and leave the child fatherless, sometimes motherless. <laughs> you feel me? It happens way too much. It happens more likely, more often than we want to uh, give it credit for. Well, what y'all just watched in the beginning clips was some of the issues. 600 Breezy has four kids, allegedly. You know, three he's not claiming. I think he claiming the last one he just had by um, Jasmine Chavez. I think that's how he's pronounced her last name. Little baby, baby mother, sister. But he holds a head triplets by a female. Can we call her a drill rapper? I don't know. Female rapper by the name of Queen Key. And Queen Key has been very vocal back then and more recently about 600 breezy and his lack of fatherhood you know but i take issue with the whole situation because on one end we got 600 breezy who they saying ain't taking care of the kids and then on the other end we got two baby mothers two two black women that don't think he's needed <laughs> they think they got it all figured out you heard queen k queen key talking on dju she say she ain't, it ain't no problem her kids are going to grow up just fine without a male figure or at least their father in their lifestyle. And I totally disagree. I totally disagree. I think the stats disagree. And it just amazes me how when we got all this information. You still will have black women uh, get on platforms or get on interviews and still say some of the wildest things imaginable. When it come down to the black man and it come down to the raising of their children. And I don't like it. But also, since uh, Jasmine had her baby by 600 Breezy, there's been a back and forth. So in this video, that's what we're going to talk. I apologize for the long intro, but like I said, we got a lot to talk about because this is a bigger problem. It ain't really just 600 Breezy pertaining. Because what we got to start paying attention to is the signs, man. It's always signs of a shitball, male or women. No, that's I'm from Baltimore. That's what we call it. We call a piece of shit individual a shitball. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And I think that's what 600 Breezy may be. Because when he talked on Say Cheese and he gave his explanation as to why he's not stepping up and taking care of his child, I don't even understand what that means. Can somebody in the comments break that down? What did 600 Breezy mean when he said, you know, it's, you know it's, that's a tender situation. You know, it's the child. You know, I'm, I'm going to take care of everything off the internet. But he's acting like it's not in his hands. Like, yo, what you mean? If these are your kids and this woman is, is willing to allow you to see your kids, even though it shouldn't be that way. You understand? Why do women think that once they have a child, the baby is just theirs? You hear this from both women. My kids, my kids, there's no our kids. And I think that mentality alone is what helps these women be single mothers. And now, this is not your typical situation. Cause I think both these women are financially stable. But that doesn't mean just because, and that's another thing women think. They think just because they're taking care of the child financially that they're taking care of the child. What do this child know? You understand? Because there's certain things, especially growing up as a boy, that you're not going to be able to teach this child. They need a male in their life. Black women need to understand this. If you look at the statistics, look at the murder victims, look at the people that's going to prison. Majority of them, a nice large percent of them, is fatherless. 
You know, they came up in single fam single family households. But women, and I think this is more than men, women still have a hard time accepting that reality. So like I said, yo, that's what we're going to talk about. It's a lot to discuss. I know I normally get into a clip by now. But I want y'all to see what happened between 600 Breezy and Queen K or Key. You know, I ain't no flexer, Key. You the one doing all that flexing. I'm glad you joined in. That's what you want. What you want me to add you or something? Got your hair done and shit? Your wig look good, I'll add you. You know, that's nothing. You did that. You made a personal, personal ass. I didn't say nothing on the internet about nothing. I look up. I mean, pussy. Damn. What you get out of that, though? You can't be that mad. You can't be that upset. Fuck you talking about why, why I'm, so I'm saying you can manage to say you love me. Why you licking my pussy the whole time? Honestly, bro, just stop it. Cause I do and say anything. No bullshit. And you know I got movies in this bitch. Literally. Like I could do this shit for the rest of the year. Literally, y'all. I kid y'all the fuck not. For the rest of my life. Okay? Fuck wrong with y'all. You hear me? Y'all know I don't. Y'all been, been knowing me since since 2015, man. I ain't never did nothing like this. You feel me? But that's just because he was in jail, so he didn't know no better. He didn't know. You know what I'm saying? He been in jail, so we just gonna get him a pat on the back. Because he didn't know. He now, Queen Key had triplets, y'all. Triplets. <laughs> you understand? Know ain't that crazy? 600 breezies allegedly you know because he's not claiming these kids and you heard him early on you know that first video i played when he was talking about um she can be a, a single parent that video was done before the say cheese interview so somewhere along the line he lessened his approach but if you listen to uh queen k he still ain't taking care of these kids they just recently had a back and forth online about these children three of them you know she said She's going to diss him all year because she just had to pay 25000 to put her kids in private school. Salute to her. But 600 Breezy isn't willing to accept the fact that these are his kids. And it could stem from the things that happened four years ago. You know, she tried to put a gay rumor on him. And I don't know why do black women do this. Anytime they want to slander a black man, they throw the, they throw the gay word out there. And if I was him, I would be upset. But not upset to the point I ain't taking care of my kids. You feel me? No, nah, that ain't no excuse, yo. In my circle of friends, we don't give excuses when it comes down to children, yo, because these kids ain't nice to be here. You got two consenting adults decided one way or another to bring these children into the world, and then it always falls apart. Well, not always, but it falls apart. And this fell apart bad. Whenever you got three children that's growing up without a father, these kids four or five years old now, 600 Breezy is nowhere in sight. So that's what makes it even crazy that Jasmine, you know, little baby, Jada's sister, would even follow behind Queen Key and have another child. I played in y'all face for nine months. Yes, my baby daddy is. <laughs> so if he do want to come around, then I would allow him. Well, if that's how they feel, bitch, I'm in the city now. What's up, ho? Now that he a deadbeat for another baby, leave me the fuck, leave me and my kids out of it. It's a new suspect, for real. Y'all, so not comment on his shit and tell him how he a deadbeat to her kids or something. Leave us the fuck out of it. It's some new characters. <laughs> Let them have it. No bad. Then it's only me and my mother trifecta. Yeah, me so it ain't no same boat. I don't know what boat nobody on. I'm on my boat. Literally. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up, bro. Like all that weird internet clout shit. I don't do that shit. I'm not chasing this shit, bitch. I'm a f I am who the f I am. Regardless. Y'all know me because I say queen shit, bitch. Not because I'm a bitch sister. That's why I named this video how to create a single mother because all right queen key made a mistake she made a mistake you know even though she should have seen the signs i told y'all it's always signs she made a mistake had a baby by this man and don't you know don't i want people to understand this i'm not taking no accountability on him or off of him because there is no excuse 
to not be a part of your kid's life. Take it to court. If she playing games, take it to court. 600 Breezy got a job. You working, you're a rapper. You know, you got something that you can put on paper that said you make whatever money you make. Take it to court. He ain't doing that. She ain't even doing that. And it was rumors saying that, you know, 600 Breezy wanted, he wanted to take a paternity test. And she declined. And I get that to you. Sometimes with women, they can take it as disrespect knowing that you was dealing with me every day having unprotected sex. Now you want a paternity test? I get it. But this is a situation, yo, where pride is getting in between of these parents, which is ultimately going to hurt these kids. I don't give a fuck what King, Queen Key talking about. But Jasmine had this example. She had this example. She knew about this. This has been public for years. And instead of her taking heed, she allowed herself to get put in the same situation with a guy that's obviously not a guy that take accountability at this point. I don't even know how many kids he got shit. He probably could have did this to other women. Who knows? But for Jasmine to get put in the same position as Queen Key after Queen Key been vocal about the fact that this man need to take care of his kids is insane. Now, 600 Breezy say he ain't going to do this to her. But if you listen to Jasmine, you heard some of the things she said. She say that, you know, he hasn't been around since she was pregnant. So what's going on? Actually, Jasmine and Jada sat down and had a brief discussion about this whole situation. I want y'all to listen to what Jada so you just said. revealed your child's father, which I'm not happy about, but we can talk about that. Why are you not happy about it? No, I mean, I... Let's just get into it. I just it. feel like she did her pregnancy herself, so why give him a platform? I don't think she was doing it to try to give him it a platform. It wasn't about giving him the platform. It was about... Honestly... I didn't really give a fuck about what the fuck anybody mm -hmm. had to say about it because at the end of the day, who the fuck wake up with motherfucking blaze every motherfucking day? Like, you do. who the fuck buy the motherfucking milk? You do. <laughs> who the fuck went nine months? But they said, you did. Period. So, so why it's the like, fuck are we praising him? Why but, the fuck, who the fuck not praising him? Not even praising but it's like, why the fuck we giving him? But I think sometimes you gotta do stuff like that just to make people stand up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it like, sucks that you gotta go, like the internet gotta sucks. be in the business for people to want to man up. Yeah. You know? But sometimes it take that. But it's like, why? Okay, so why? We're not here to bash him. Yeah. Let, finish, just finish talking. <laughs> right, finish talking, baby. You can come see about me. Oh, God, I'm playing. <laughs> Respectfully. But let's finish talking. And now it was like, I really just did that because. I didn't, I really just wanted a peaceful pregnancy, and I knew with everything that he be having going on, they was gonna, they was gonna eat my ass up every day. And it was like, who the fuck want to wake up? Bitch, you already miserable, pregnant, yeah. big. Fuck, I didn't want to have to go through like all of that negativity. Mm -hmm. So I just chose to, you know, wait until it now. Cause mm -hmm. I mean, my baby here, y'all see, bitch, it's been two months. My baby is perfectly fine, well taken <laughs> care of. So. What the fuck? Y'all keep saying all these I little think, flip comments. Like, I think uh, the reason why, let's take some accountability, though, because that's what we're going to do. I think the reason why they felt so, they felt like they had to have a say-so because you was basically promoting somebody else. So that's why they felt like they was in the business. Come on, we gonna take accountability. We this is a podcast. No, I, and I definitely so, did that because at the end of the day, I don't really fucking really wasn't they motherfucking. The one thing I gotta say is, man, and like, and I don't know their situation, but I know this deep bear situation. Is a lot of times men are leave during the pregnancy just because they can't handle, you know, the woman in her pregnancy stages. You know, mood swings, attitude changes. It happens. But as a man, you're supposed to be aware of that and you got to make the necessary adjustments. They can't help it. Now, I don't know why they broke up during this pregnancy. You know, I think that's crazy. I think that just can go into the fact that they really ain't know each other that much to begin with. But for both of these women to be claiming that they can raise this child on their own, completely void of a father, is total ignorance. And for 600 Breezy to not be claiming basically none of these kids is a piece of shit to me. And I don't think he deserves respect. And any man that's sitting around him, that if you call him your brother, you call him your partner, you call him your friend, you need to be making him take care of these goddamn kids and hold them accountable because we're the only ones that can do it. I believe, yo, as black men, yo, if we start holding other black men more accountable about these kids, then we'll have less children growing up without fathers. We'll have less children growing up in single parent households because households because regardless of what the women think, even what the men think, the statistics say enough. And the 
the statistics says something different. But I know this is a long video, but I want to know how y'all feel about this in the comments, man. Do y'all understand the point that I'm getting to about how you create a single woman? Like, it takes two to tango. And in this situation, I don't think nobody was fit. I don't think nobody was fit. It looked like 600 Breeze, he still want to play the field. He still probably got some growing up to do. You know, he still got to mature a little bit more. Queen K seems like she more like a nigga. She's super aggressive. It's going to be hard to keep any man around. But if that's the case of 600 Breeze, if you knew that, why would you put yourself in the position of where you're getting her pregnant? And then you're not trying to claim the kid when there's videos that she released of you doing, you know, Y'all heard, y'all heard what they talked about. So it's like, why are you even getting that comfortable with a woman that you're not even willing to have a child with? It don't make sense to me. And then for Jada to see everything going on, see it all play out, and for her to follow suit, it's crazy to me. And she knew she was wrong about it, or she knew she should have second guessed it because she didn't even want to go public. And the reason why she didn't want to go public is because she didn't want social media down her back. But to be honest, social media should have been down her back because she should have known better. Now she may be faced with the same reality as this last woman. But let me know how y'all feel about this in the comments. It's another day. Keep it G News. Nigga can't do what I do. Y'all niggas can't copy me. Let's keep shit G. Let's keep shit G. Let's keep the shit G. Let's keep shit G. Let's keep shit G. Let's keep shit G.